In this video, we finally get the dark side off the dock in St. Martin and begin our long journey westward towards the United States. Some of the crew gets seasick, but it was a pretty pleasant time to sail west. Don't lick my booby. <laughs> Smart dog. <laughs> So today's the day we are leaving St. Martin. We've been here a long time, longer than we expected. We stayed for the regatta, then we stayed for weather. We're getting out of here. It's not perfect weather, but we're going anyway. Uh, so the girls are kind of getting everything ready, and we're getting underway soon. So we got about 15 knots of wind pushing us on the dock, maybe sometimes a little bit stronger than that. So I mean, it's a lot of windage pushing us straight on the dock. So kind of the general plan is, so I've got a line off the aft stern port side to a cleat over there. We're gonna pull the stern of the boat out about, I don't know, a meter, maybe one and a half meters that way to get it away from the dock. And then we will disconnect all the lines basically everywhere else and use the bow thruster and the engines to bring the bow out into the wind and point it away from the dock so that we can kind of go around out that way. All right, we need, we got uh, engines running. I'm just gonna poke my head down the engine room and check everything. I chopped up all the oils and everything on the generators and the engines and checked everything yesterday and uh, pressurized the reservoirs and stuff, so I think we should be good, but just to double check. Each 720 horsepower Detroit diesel was purring nicely. I think we're good. We said goodbye to our friends and fellow cruisers as we got off the dock. It was the first good weather day in a very long time, so there were quite a few boats waiting to exit out the bridge. Do a dance for me. The marina's gonna be so empty now. I know, everybody's leaving. We were leaving St. Martin on our way to Dominican Republic with a quick stop in Puerto Rico to rest for a little bit. It was about 200 miles to Puerto Rico. Maggie's enjoying his first sailing. Last time driving through this bridge in a very long time. Uh, it could be many years before I get back here. Look at Bucky. I know. Good boy. Goodbye, St. Martin. Goodbye to my friends. Bye. Bye. Bye, how are you? <laughs> And now, we're officially back on the water! Woohoo! We're back on the water, Bobby! Yeah, man. 300 miles that way. Yeah, could be, you know, four or five years before I come back through here. We'll see. Maybe longer. It's a good place to be. Yeah. But you'll be back. Yeah. It's okay. Oh no. Someone had a little. Someone's a little nervous and what? threw up everywhere. A little seasick, are you, Bucky? Oh no. Should we give him something? I mean, you can give him a quarter or something. A little yeah. tiny little bit of Grammy. I mean, I'm not even seasick, but looking at this. <laughs> Today is the first day that I'm in charge of the dark side, so Bobby could take a nap. And maybe as well, <laughs> everything is so calm. He told me to check a couple of things, like the engine temperature, and then just following the road. That's it. Anyone that's been sailing for a while knows that sailing downwind with a following sea in relatively calm conditions is quite nice. Now we're almost halfway. We're 103 miles to go out of 195 to our first stop, which is Isla Caja de Muertos there off the coast of Puerto Rico. We get there about uh, three in the morning or so, we'll drop anchor and then we will rest until tomorrow night. Uh, won't go ashore, won't check in or anything, we're just gonna rest. Uh, and the reason I picked that island is because it is like six miles off the mainland, it's uninhabited, and it's 
you know, it doesn't look like we are trying to go ashore without you know, checking in or anything, which we're not trying to do. We're just going to rest. We're not even going to leave the boat and then keep on going. So, uh, but it's nice so far. The wind is actually a lot less than um, forecast. It's supposed to be 17, 18, and just by looking at it, I haven't been able to replace my wind meter yet, but looking at it, it's probably 12, 13 knots, just looking at the water. So, been a nice little ride so far. Bucky was still not feeling comfortable enough to do his business on deck. He's so sad. I feel so bad. Put him on the leash see if, and take him up to the front and see if he'll yeah. pee. Bucky, let's go for a walk. In the Bucky, you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Bucky, sit. Hey. Bucky. Bucky, come. Bucky, sit. That's a good boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have a volunteer. Stay if he's gonna poop. Alright, put it on camera. It's gonna make great views. Yeah, yeah. As night fell, Bucky was still holding it. I felt bad for him. sure I did. Uh, all the GPS is just went to night mode. Uh, I uh, checked all the running lights and everything to make sure they're good. I actually just went ahead and replaced them all with LEDs because they are incandescent. So now I've got uh, LED running lights around. In the middle of the night, we anchored at Isla Caja de Muertos or Coffin Island. All right, made it to uh, Isla Caja de Muertos. Uh, Becky actually did pee last night, so happy about that. He has not pooped yet though, so we're just gonna leave the door, because he peed out there last night. We're gonna leave the door open and let him do it when he needs to, um, but uh, I think he was okay. But uh, so uninhabited island here, it's pretty windy to, during the day today. It's supposed to slacken off tonight, so we're gonna wait till tonight, about midnight, and then we're gonna continue on. So we've already gone about 200 miles here. We're just resting here. We're not going to shore. We're not checking in. We're not doing anything. Um, and then we are going to go about another 120 miles that way over to Dominican Republic. And uh, then we will check in in Punta Cana. I look awful. Don't film me. Film him. Buckaroo! Buckaroo! So we had planned on hanging out on Oscar, uh, our little dock out here, but the wind has been really strong all afternoon. So that did not happen. Um, wind's starting to let off a little bit now as it was expected to this evening. Uh, and then, so probably about midnight, we are gonna pull the anchor up and keep on heading to Dominican Republic. But for now, gonna enjoy the sunset, ha, cook some steaks and some- Yeah, some of your fans. Post steaks. We're giving you some advice on how to cook steaks. <laughs> they can cook so great. But I think some people are chefs, so they're like, you gotta do this with steak and do that. Yeah, let's get him some advice. Yeah, let's get Yeah, let me know in the comments how I should make my steaks better. And, <laughs> and then I'll have her read them. By the way, I saved his little toy the other day. I was coming back in the dinghy, and apparently he had thrown it off the boat, he and I saw it drifting away. He shakes his head and then lets it go as it's shaking it, so. He threw it off the boat. Here, enjoying the sunset. Bucky can't stop staring at the powder board. He's, he's like, take me. Yeah, we're getting the food prep there. Steph is making Brussels sprouts. I got some steaks uh, marinating. Ooh. Uh, the girls are using their, uh, what do they got? It's like a veggie, no, it's like a. It's like Beyond Meat. Impossible burger stuff. Uh, so now I'm actually going to top off the engine oils and check on the engines and everything because we motored 18 hours over here. So make sure they're doing okay. So starboard engines maybe down a couple quarts. 
port side engine down one quart. For 18, 19, well, almost 20 hours of running, that's probably about all right. All right, I checked the uh, gear oil and the engine oil, and uh, the gear oil was fine. Uh, the engine oil was, like I said, down two quarts on this side, maybe less than that, one quart on the other. Uh, but these are two-stroke diesels, so they burn a little bit of oil, so it's pretty much normal. I'm gonna try a different uh, method on my steaks tonight, so kind of low heating them, uh, get the temperature right in the middle, then I'm gonna pull them off, heat up the pan to get really hot, and then I'll sear them. So, because normally I've just been getting the pan really hot, and then, you know, going like two and a half minutes on each side. I'm gonna try it a little different this time. Mm-mm-mm. What do you think? Honestly, you cooked it to perfection. Like, perfectly medium rare. I gotta say, you did well. Good job, babe. 10 out of 10. I like it. We'll see what the girls do with their um, almost meat. Just before midnight, it was time to fire up the engines to get ready to go. All right. Got my fuel tanks switched over. We got the engine started up. We got everything up we need to get up, and the girls are ready to pull up the anchor. Y'all ready? And Bucky's helping. You look like a big help there, Bucky. All right, we're going along the uh, south coast of Puerto Rico here. Ponce is right there, and that's where this boat lived for 20 years or more. Uh, so the second owner bought it in 1999 or 2000. It's a, this is a 1997, and uh, we bought it in either 99 or 2000, and it lived there until I bought it a little over a year ago. So. Uh, we're heading past it, and this might be the last time this boat comes down this way or this way. So, anyway, but uh, we got about 100 miles, 110 miles to go tonight to Dominican Republic, and uh, we're expecting a good, nice sail. Uh, the winds have been strong all day. Hopefully, the, by the time we get, we're in the lee of the island basically right now, and then we'll be in the lee of the island for another 50 miles. Hopefully, by the time we get over that way, uh, the swell and all that will be down, and the winds won't be too bad. As always, our patrons got this video early, and so did our channel members. With just one click, you can join and help contribute to the channel.